Hey everyone, it's Alejandro from Lodo Plays, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we cleared out the Desert Palace and then got the flippers so we can finally swim. This episode, uh, there's a few more stops I want to make before we head on out to get the last pendant. And from where we just got the flippers, the first thing that we're going to want to do is go down, oh, no, go down here. Alright, um... Yes, I Whoa, okay, the Zoras are still gonna come after you, unfortunately. Yes, perfect. And we got another heart container, so our, and our life went up. Yeah, that, I just wanted to make sure that I remembered to get that from the last episode. Alright, now, from here, it's another uh, quick and easy place that we can get to. Um, yeah, this waterfall... I th oh, <laughs> stupid Zora. I know it's a waterfall... Somewhere around here. Or not a waterfall, but something I'm looking for. I think it's... No, actually it might be just be out of where we were. Nope. Um, yes, here. Perfect. Now this is a very interesting place. If you see, it just looks like a regular waterfall. But if you go up to it... If you go up... <laughs> you have to go in the right way. Uh, yes, there's actually a, a room behind the waterfall. And, uh, mysterious pawn, won't you throw something in? Uh, yeah, let's throw an item in, why not? Now, there's only cer two certain items that you can throw in, and I'm gonna show you both of them. The first one, boomerang. Hello there, did you drop this? Uh, yes I did. I like an honest person. I'll give you something better in return. So we were honest about littering her pond. All right. You got the magical boomerang. You can throw this faster and farther than your old one. Which, if you want to see, it definitely makes a difference. And it's got a little nice sparkly animation to boot. Now, let's throw in the second item that we can... <sighs> Did not mean to do that. Yes, yes, I, ac I, I accidentally did drop that. I will give it, it this back to you. Don't drop it again. You know, now I'm kind of tempted to drop it. No, no, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Because I actually want to get something dropped in that I that would really help out. Um, It is... The shield. Alright, now we just wait for her to come back up again. Uh, yes, I did. Awesome. Uh, your shield is improved. Now you can defend yourself against fireballs. So yes, all that would have been very helpful trying to get past all those Zoras to get to meet the King Zora to get the flippers. But now that we have the flippers, we get the shield that can let us block fireballs, which the order seems kind of weird to me, but whatever. All right, now another place close by. There's now that we can swim, lots of stuff is opened up, but not, nothing too important right now, except if you remember in last episode, uh, the King Zora had told us that you can enter in whirlpools, I believe. Um, like, so for instance, this looks like a Zora might pop out of it. Ah, as you can see, they block there. But uh, yeah, um, actually, since this is, this is a just a whirlpool that can you can use to actually teleport around, so let me just sh show that off really quick. And if we look at the map... We can see that we're all the way in Lake uh, Hylia. I believe we were... Um, where were we? Over here? Oh, see, now I don't remember. I believe we were up there. You know what? I can actually just check really quick. Oh, give me, hold on a second. It's not that big of a deal, but I just wanted to make sure I knew where I was. Yeah, so as you can see that this teleports us a good ways, actually. A good way to... um save time traveling around Hyrule. So it's really helpful to know where these whirlpools are. <laughs> oh man, did not mean to swim back into that. You have to see that animation a million times at this rate. All right, perfect. Now the next place that I wanted to go into is over here. This cave is very interesting and important. Let me just take care of these buzz blobs just because I can. And hey, let's test out our new boomerang. By missing. Ah. 
I don't think it does anything else other than, like, it's not like it damages more or anything. Just, um, obviously the speed and range improves, which is a very nice touch, by the way. Alright, now in this cave... Um... Okay, yeah. Pond of Happiness. Throw some rupees in and your wishes will surely come true. Do you want to throw a few rupees? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I've been... Up until I bought those flippers, I didn't have anything to put, spend money on, so why not? Let's just throw 20 in. Happiness increased 20 rupees. In total, your happiness is 20. You became happier by one step. For your reference today, you will have great luck. Now, you might be thinking, well, that was a waste. You just threw in 20 weapons, uh, uh, 20 rupees to get great luck. Well, not exactly. You see, if you keep coming back to the pond and throwing more rupees in. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, it shows that you have a um, 40 total happiness. All right. Uh, no. <laughs> Apparently I have to walk a little further away. Let's throw 20 more in. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, we're at 60 now. All right. <sighs> How far does it actually have to be for it to count? There. Throw a few more. Yes, I know this is a little tedious. And it is going to be uh, building up to something soon. Don't worry. Happiness is 80. All right. Apparently now we're only going to get a little luck. That's fine. And... <sighs> I think you have to maybe wait a second after, too. Don't feel like it. Well, I mean, I kind of do because what the reward's going to be. All right, finally. As you can see, another fairy came out and I will make your wish come true. I want to carry more bombs and I want to carry more arrows. Now you have a choice here. It doesn't really matter because you can actually pay for the, uh, get the other one after you upgrade one of the, one of them. So let's just go with bombs for now. I'll, then I will increase your carrying ability so you can carry 15 bombs at maximum. This is just a small happiness I can give to you. Alright, so now that we have a maximum of 15 bombs, and if we go back to the fountain, we can throw a few in. Now we can actually throw it in increments of 50, so that's a big help. Alright, yeah, it's 50. Let's just do that one more time. Oh, here we go. Yes, yes. Uh, 50 rupees. Perfect. See, it was much easier this time. And now I want to... You could actually choose bombs again, but I'll get into that in just a second. So let's just say I want to carry more arrows. Then I'll increase your carrying, capa uh, carrying ability so you can carry 35 arrows at maximum. This is just a small happiness I can give you. Alright, now as you saw again, I could have upgraded my bombs once more. And the interesting thing about this is that you can actually max out your bombs and arrows here. It would, it's going to take a little bit and a little bit of money. I'm not sure. I don't I actually don't have enough money for it. But I will cut to when I upgrade them a little bit more. And I'll show you. All right. Well, now let's just go bombs again. Each time, a, she increases it by five. All right. Now, let's do it. We have 100 more root. Well, I mean, we have 190, but we can only do this once more since it's 100 each time. So, I'm going to just cut again, and I'll show you when I get the arrows this time. Okay. Uh, now, this time, like I was saying, arrows. Yeah, yeah, 40. Perfect. Now, that takes a little longer than I would like. I would just really wish you could just put in 100 at a time, but it's not too big of a deal now. So, you can definitely come back because the maximum number, I believe, is um, 30 bombs... And 70 arrows? No, it's 50 bombs. I'm sorry. 50 bombs and 70 arrows. So we have a lot more uh, to do with the money in later. But for now, that's all we need to get done. So with all of those things out of the way, I think I'm going to head back towards Death Mountain, which I had shown off just a little bit in the previous video. So I'll cut back to when I get to that big stone again. All right, really quick. Uh, there was something that I actually forgot. I knew that there was something, but... If actually from the whirlpool and from where the cave was, if we're heading up to, I believe, this direction. Um, well, hold on. I kind of want to see us up here now. Uh, where is this? Um. Oops. Where are we on the map? 
Oh, okay, so we're right below where the palace was. I, you know, I'm just kind of curious now. I believe this is... Yeah, right to how we... When we entered this place. Or the place where we had to meet the, uh... Elder. The village elder up there. And yeah, okay, this is the fairy fountain that was here. Alright. Just checking. But what I, where I actually wanted to go was up this little narrow passageway here. Just swim. And, hmm. Wait, is he going faster and I'm hitting A? Yeah, I guess he is. Completely forgot about that. All right, avoid the Zora. Now what we're going to want to do is... Head straight under the bridge. And let's just walk up. Let's talk to this guy. Looks like he's just having a little camp out here. Yo, Link, you seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. And he gave us another magic bottle, which, by the way, that's actually really generous of him. So we're definitely going to take that. Can I extinguish your fire? No? Wait, wait. All right, just checking. All right, now that I've got a third bottle, which is always very, very useful... Uh, let's see, well, okay, I was about to say, I should get some fairies, but I forgot that there was a fairy place that we were right by that I could have shown you earlier, but I just forgot, so I will cut to when I get to that one. Alright, so we're back here in the Pond of Happiness, and as I'm sure if you were paying really close attention, there was actually a Bumble Wall over here, which I completely forgot about. So let's just head on in there, because if we do... See, there's some fairies here. And perfect thing is, I have two empty bottles, so I didn't get two fairies, which I feel like I'm going to need with the way I've been playing recently. Yeah, get that one. Get that one, and I will get you for my life. All right, perfect. Now that that's out of the way, we can finally head uh, towards Death Mountain. All right, so we're back here now, and I just want to check the sign. As it said, yeah, don't enter the Death Mountain without the king's permission. Well... King is kind of captured, so doesn't, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Now let's lift this big stone again and head on here towards Death Mountain, with which, if you look at the map, is taking us right to where the third and final pendant is. Alright, as you can see, once we first step in here, it's a really dark. Can't really see much, so you just gotta be careful. There's some keys. They can just get sliced... Oh, wow. There's more than I thought there was. Why, why can't I hit them? Um, do not want to fall in there. Unless... I have... I, I mean, there could be something underneath. Like, if I fell in, it would, um, take me to a lower floor. But I doubt it. Alright. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of a small maze here. Nothing too bad. I went... Shouldn't take you long to get through. This is probably just looping me. Yep, okay, loop me back. Uh, yeah, okay, another dead end there. Ah, perfect. I don't know who you are, but if you're going to go up the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so... Uh, yeah, so now apparently we didn't have to say anything. This guy is just gonna start following us. Um, that's fine, for now. As... Uh, he, he, I don't think he's going to get in the way, so it's not a big deal. Oh, here we go. Uh, watch your step. There are holes in the ground. Could you turn right here? Young man, are you also going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. Hmm. I mean, we weren't going for the golden power. We are just going for a pendant, but I might have something later. Who knows? By the way, it's actually pretty funny. If you do the Pegasus Dash with uh, the old man, and I think it could be anybody if, if they're accompanying with you. You see, you kind of just run in slow motion almost. Or just like light jog, really. Because uh, he wouldn't be able to keep up with you. Um, I know you said turn... Uh, there must be a heart in the bottle. Well, yeah, that's why I wanted to lift it. <laughs> I really hope he doesn't comment on everything I do. Oh... Ugh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who is your age. The king took her to the castle and she never returned. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he's trying to somehow use the power of the descendants of the wise men. I mean, I think we had kind of already established that in the beginning. Uh, but since he said right, I'm going to go the opposite way because I've been gaming for a very long time and 
If, you, if you're told to go one way, go the opposite way so you can explore first. That's just a rule. But alright, uh, looks like this is the end of... Yeah, perfect. The end of the cave. Um, whoa, okay. Watch out for the... Is that all? Okay, I guess you want to hang around with me. Now, these enemies over here are called dead rocks. They will turn to stone once you hit them. So, you can, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can take them out, but not immediately. You just have to wait until they, you know, unfreeze, but... Ah, okay. The missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. I wait for that day. Uh, these are dangerous times. I talk too much. Anyway, thank you for your kindness to an old man like me. Uh, I wanted to give you this. If you wander into a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. He gave you the magic mirror. This mirror is blue, clear, and beautiful. You feel like it is going to absorb you into another world. Well, that was a very odd piece of advice that he just gave, but I'm sure it'll come in handy. Now we gotta watch out for all these falling rocks right here. Oh, there's nothing over here. All right, and if we check our map, we're still, we haven't made much progress, but uh, it's not, these, this mountain isn't too bad. It's been so long, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna get lost a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, this, I think this is just where he hangs out. Really quick. Do you have anything good in here? Yeah, there's a way to go. But let's talk to him first. What else do you have to say? The wizard has deceived the king, and now he is trying to open the way to the dark world. To complete your quest, you will need the moon pearl, which is in the tower on top of the mountain. All I can do for you now is to comfort your weariness. Come back here anytime. Yeah, so that's actually pretty nice. Uh, if you come back here, you can just get a free uh, health top-up, which... Uh, you might need it. Uh, there's a lot of enemies, and obviously as you saw the falling boulders in this area. So, always nice to remember that you can just come back down to where the old man is, get a nice health top up. Now, if we're going through here... Where is this? Oh, another one of these places, okay. Um... Alright, don't care about you. Keys. You're just a very easy enemy. Hmm. Oh, okay, there's an exit right there. <laughs> I didn't mean to run into that guy, but alright. Um, yeah, okay, this just loops, up, loops us around. And this is just a pot. Alright, uh, where... Alright, yeah, I, I'm gonna be pretty lost here now that I think about it. Okay, where are we? We are... Somewhere. I think we're right by where the old... Yeah, okay, so we didn't need to go that way, but it helps us dodge these boulders. Actually, can you even cross that without getting hurt? I don't think so. Whatever. Um, nothing up this way, right? No. Okay, there is a path around here. Ooh, I don't know if I want to go... I guess it looks like the right way. Um, oh. Lots of these stones that we can pick up. I'm sure there's... Yep. Okay, bomb. Wow, okay. Nope, I'm out of here. <sighs> of course. But I have a fairy, so not too bad. I, I still have one more fairy left as well. Hopefully I won't go through that. Um, this... Uh, oh, oh, okay, I think I know where I am, yeah. Now, um, this is not something you're gonna have to worry about for a while. But it, it's just... Obviously there's something that we're gonna have to do here, but not yet. So, I guess I was heading the right way earlier. Oh, by the way, I don't think I had tried this yet, but if you try to lift these darker rocks... You can't. It looks like he... He, he can lift those huge stones, yet he can't lift a, a slightly darker uh, color rock, which is kind of sad. And this is even worse. Um, you know what? I'm gonna heal up with the old man, and then I'm gonna be back at the top of the entrance from where if you go through his cave and come out, because I'm, I'm tired of the, all these rocks, so I'll meet you guys there. Alright, and so now we're back out here. Avoid all these falling boulders, and let's just keep heading on to the left now. Uh, wow. I thought I was safe there for a second. This cave leads to the path back to Kakariko Village. Wait, what? Really? Uh, I don't remember this at all. If this, uh, if this can open up a shortcut to Kakariko Village, this would definitely be... <laughs> I was gonna say, this would definitely be worth it to check out. Well, that's how a keys gives you trouble, by knocking you into a pit. Nope, don't, not again. Um, wow, there's a lot of them in here. Obviously meant to knock you in. 
Uh, okay, where does this go to? Uh, more keys. Ah, okay, good, and heart. Just lots of darkness and keys. Ah, okay, so this is just a uh, way to quickly exit Death Mountain. If, you want, if you're going from, I guess, the middle tier. So, that's not, uh, that's not too big of a shortcut, to be honest. I mean, it was kind of a waste, but I was curious about... Where that actually was gonna go so at least i know now so it's not gonna in the future if i needed to do it i don't know why i would but if i did it's helpful just completely dodging all these keys right now i do not have time for them all right can i oh i can actually dash up this little laddery stair things what's that stairs or ladders i think these are just like wooden stairs no it's hard to tell and as you can see, we're getting pretty close to where the pendant is. We're climbing up pretty good. Now, there's one thing that I want to do. I think it's... Well, okay, you can see a heart uh, piece up there. That's actually not what I'm going for this second. I think if we jump right... Yes, okay, I think this is it. We jump in here. Um... Ah, okay, perfect. As you can see there, we get another piece of heart. All right, what's this? Is this Sahasrila? Link, it is I, Sahasrila. You must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock. From there, you can reach the Tower of Hera on top of Death Mountain. Well, it sounds like that's where we're going to be heading next, but I think it's time to call it a part right there. So next time on Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, we're going to be heading to the Tower of Hera and getting the last pendant. See you guys then.